Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. For today's short meditation, let us meditate on the letter of Paul to the Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is and his good, pleasing and perfect will. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Holy Spirit, teach us the importance of filling our mind with the scripture and think about what you have thought about me. And we pray through your word, convict us to keep worldliness away from our life. Enable us, Lord, to spend time in pursuit of the wisdom that comes from you. Therefore, saturate our mind with your wisdom. Therefore, Holy Spirit, rest upon us. Holy Spirit, guide us. Holy Spirit, possess us in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Serving God should be out of interest. Else if you do it out of our desire, it wouldn't give us the kind of a joy that is experienced in serving God. We often pick and choose our ministry. We choose what we like and ignore what we are uncomfortable with. Well, it is like Jonah who wanted to head to Tarshish than to Nineveh. God has shaped us according to what was in the mind of God, even before he started to work in our lives. It is likened to a potter who takes clay to make a vessel, but changes his mind to make it into a jar. Any work we do becomes interesting when we learn something every day. And if you decide to learn every day with what you work and with, with more interest, you will come to a point where you will not realize how much expertise you have gained. You decide to learn because that was your interest. Serving the Lord is being with your best friend and you never get tired talking to him and probably listening from him. We look at the life of Moses. He was in the presence of the Lord for 40 days. He neither thought of food nor slept, but he sat in the presence of the Lord to forget even food and sleep. And what a turn of events in the life of Moses. He neither grumbled nor thought about food or even complained for the long journey to the promised land, yet he could not enter the promised land. And despite not allowed to enter the promised land, yet he did his work with great dedication. If you are bored serving God, you have not chosen what God has chosen for you. If I am overwhelmed by what I am doing, then I am doing more than what God intended. We get bored or lose interest the moment we feel discouraged, especially when things do not work according to our plans. It is the time when we tend to give up than to give in to. We need to understand that God's plan may not be to our expectations, but then God's plan takes time. Let the zeal never go diminished. Most of the people, they start reading the Bible, but over time, they discontinue and never read it again. Well, the love of God is similar to a man and a woman who falls in love and they intend to get married. But weeks after the marriage, the love is missing from their lives. If you think you're doing something in sharing the love of Jesus, but you do not find the joy, it is apparent God is not in that plan. If you rather do with interest, it is evident that Jesus is in the plan and you will never be bored. There were times when my friends used to say, I sit for two hours, three hours for prayers. And I used to think, how come they can sit for three and four hours? But when I started to sit with the Lord, I realized the joy that I found in sitting. I did not find anything more important than sitting in the presence of the Lord. And I did not find any joy as greater as the joy of sitting in the presence of the Lord. It is the Holy Spirit that builds up that interest in us to pray. And if you are loving to pray, it means you are sensing the work of the Holy Spirit in you. And once you have started to sense the work of the Holy Spirit, you will never be bored in your life. God bless you all. Have a great day. In Jesus' name. Amen.